look so beautiful. I love you so much. Mm. Sweet Sam. And I love our life together. You and the children mean everything to me. We are so blessed. You know, when I was having that dream of you carrying off the naked woman, I had the deepest feeling of loss. It's just, it was a sadness that I knew I would never recover from. Hey, it was a bad dream. That's all it was. I know, Sam. And you're never gonna lose me. Not ever. wouldn't understand, Ivy Crane. <laughs> not really. You just never made much of an effort. Oh, that's not true. You think I wanted it to be this way between us? Well, what the hell did you expect? I always assumed that you knew why I was marrying you, that you understood it was a business arrangement, something my father wanted. Oh, and whatever Alistair wants. Your family had the political power the Cranes needed. A marriage made in Wall Street. Your father should have told you. I had no idea you didn't know, not until that... that night when you ran out on me. A wedding night. It's a great day, Julian. Yes, Father. It's an excellent match. Ivy's the perfect ornament for us to dangle in front of those old money types. She is pretty, isn't she? Oh, downright handsome. You hit the jackpot there, son. But I don't know, she, she's... Call her whatever you want, she's your wife. But she's no substance, unlike Clarissa Morton. Now, that woman is pure electricity. Forget about Clarissa Morton, at least for the time being. Right now, you ought to concentrate on uh, becoming the glamour couple of the year, on charming all those Wall Street high rollers. Ivy's our leverage, Julian. Use her. Yes, Father. You may not love her, but you could do a whole lot worse than the governor's daughter. And from the looks of her, I'd say she'd be a hell of a good role in the hay. I had no idea where you disappeared to when you spent the night. It must have been hell for you.